Hello Southway, for today's assembly we are going to be looking at a famous tennis competition that happens in England every year, Wimbledon. So what is Wimbledon? Every year in June many of the world's best tennis players come to Wimbledon in London to play in the Wimbledon Tennis Championships. This here is the centre court of the All England Club in Wimbledon. This is where the Wimbledon Championships are held every year. So where is Wimbledon held? It is held in London, in South West London, in a little place called Wimbledon. And that is where the All England Lawn Tennis Club, where Wimbledon tournament is held, is located. So this is what the Lawn Tennis Club looks like. So here you've got centre court, which is the main court where players play. And then you've got court number one. And then you've got court number two and three. And you've got some other courts and some practice courts as well. And then over here you will see it's actually a hill. And they call it either Henman Hill or Murray Mound. So it was originally Henman Hill named after Tim Henman, who was a very successful British tennis player. But since Murray, Andy Murray, became very popular and did really well in the championship, some people have started calling it Murray Mound. The championships are held each year beginning in June. They last for two weeks. There are different competitions that are played throughout the two weeks. The main events that are played are the gentlemen's singles, the ladies' singles, the gentlemen's doubles, the ladies' doubles and the mixed doubles. The singles are when one player plays against just one other person and doubles are when two players play together against another person pair of players so there's four people all together playing in the doubles. Wimbledon also hosts other events throughout the two weeks including events for wheelchair users and junior players. The junior events include the boys singles, the girls singles, the boys doubles and the girls doubles. Since 2006 Wimbledon has hosted a wheelchair doubles tournament but from 2016, they also host a wheelchair single tournament too. So I thought we'd have a little look at the history of Wimbledon. The first Wimbledon took place in 1877. It was a competition then for amateurs, people who played the game as a hobby. And at the time, the only event that was played was the men's singles. The women's singles and the men's doubles began seven years later in 1884. Did you know that Wimbledon is the oldest tennis tournament in the world? It is also the only Grand Slam to be played on grass. Wimbledon is really particular about its grass as well as we are about to find out. Grass, grass and uh more grass there were 40 courts 18 that are used in matches and 22 which are used in practice Whew, that's a lot of grass every morning a special team mows mops yes mops and repaints the lines on every court you look after all the grass in wimbledon it's a pretty tough job you have the world's best athletes running around on it for eight or nine hours a day so it does take a lot of punishment we probably get 80 hours of play for the two weeks, so it's a, it's a lot for the court to take. Right, so the roof, we just heard it whirring away. Why is it closing? We're just gonna shut it for a couple hours just to keep center court in the shade. Again, we've had extremely hot weather the last few days, something the courts aren't used to. So uh, yeah, it's just a precautionary measure to make sure that the grass doesn't stress out too much because we still you know, have quite a few days of play left on center court. And nobody plays on this court other than for the two weeks of the championships. And I love that because it does keep it special and it is an honour to play on centre court. What happens to the grass after Wimbledon finishes? Well, it is a members club, so they will play on the, the grass tennis courts until September. 
but center court and number one we take out straight away and we do a renovation which means we shave off every blade of grass back to soil and we actually regrow the courts and this is something we do on every court. What's your garden look like at home? Not as good but it is pretty good. Yeah I can imagine. I mean the, the last thing I want to do when I get home is work in my garden but it is very therapeutic. Now I've got loads of top tips for my own garden and a deep respect for Wimbledon grass. As well as the tennis players, there are lots of people who work so hard to make sure Wimbledon is a success. And we're going to have a look now at the ball boys and ball girls who were some of those people. During the tournament, up to 300 ball boys and ball girls will be attending the matches. It is their job to ensure that the games run smoothly by fetching any balls that go out of play and making sure that the players have a ball to serve with as quickly as possible. Becoming a ball boy or ball girl is not easy. First, the head teachers of local schools have to nominate young people they think are suitable. The young people then have to pass the fitness test and a written test on the rules of tennis. If they pass the tests, they begin training five months before Wimbledon starts. I've got some interesting facts for you here about Wimbledon too. Did you know that 2,800 kilograms of strawberries and 7,000 litres of cream are eaten at Wimbledon every year? The Royal Family are also supporters of Wimbledon. Each year, members of the Royal Family can be seen watching the matches and the Duke and Duchess of Kent always present the championship trophy to the winners. Did you know that the longest game ever to be played at Wimbledon lasted 11 hours? five minutes and was played over three days during the 2010 tournament. Imagine how tired you'd be after that. Anna Harris Hawk, called Rufus, helps to keep Wimbledon free of pigeons. Each morning he circles the courts to scare the pigeons away. We're going to hear from some other tennis experts now to hear some more facts about Wimbledon. Fifty-four thousand balls have been used in Wimbledon every year. Wimbledon balls are kept at twenty degrees so they're nice and bouncy. Over two thousand rackets are restored during Wimbledon. <laughs> the grass at Wimbledon has to be exactly eight millimetres tall. Better get cutting. 166,000 portions of these are eaten every year at Wimbledon. Mm. The last British winner of Wimbledon was Andy Murray. He won the gentlemen's singles in 2013 and then again in 2016. The last British woman to win the ladies singles was Virginia Wade in 1977. Before Andy Murray's win in 2013, there had been no British gentleman singles winner since Fred Perry had won in 1936. That's 77 years without a winner. It has now been 43 years since the last British woman won the singles event. As well as the honour of winning Wimbledon, the winners also get prize money and a trophy. This here is the gentleman's single trophy and this is the ladies singles trophy. It's actually a silver salver which is a type of tray and they call it the rose water dish. Both the ladies and gentlemen's winners receive 2,350,000 each for winning the tournament, so a lot of money. And the trophies are engraved with the winners' names and the dates they won, but they do not belong to the winners. They stay in the museum at the club and then the winners get to take home a smaller replica, so a smaller model 
of the trophy to take home. Wimbledon is a huge event in the tennis calendar and it is shown on television and even has its own radio station that can be listened to near to Wimbledon or online. This year is slightly different because unfortunately the competition cannot happen but it will be there next year. So will you be watching and supporting our players next year? Although the Wimbledon Championships cannot happen this year, Wimbledon has been running a social media campaign called Wimbledon Recreated, asking people to post pictures and videos on social media to show what they're doing to mark the tournament in 2020. The videos sent in so far show a lot of adults and children making tennis courts in their gardens. As you can see in the video we're about to watch, Famous players like Serena Williams, Novak Djokovic and Tim Henman have been joining in too. Serena has been doing warm-ups in her garden, Tim is seen watching some of his old matches and some players have been tucking into some strawberries and cream. One group of fans made their very own Henman Hill in the back garden and others got tents out to make an imaginary queue for tickets as well as measuring grass. You don't even need to have a lot of tennis equipment to pretend it's Wimbledon. In some videos, fans can be seen playing with spades and watering cans instead of a racket. Just make sure you're not playing near any windows. Well, a very warm welcome to Wimbledon and the All England Club and to all those from around the world as we get ready for these great championships. The final preparations have been made, every care taken to get the courts ready for the defending champion to take that famous walk and to hear the rising noise of the crowd, the welcome to centre court. Every player knows this feeling, the excitement, the nervous anticipation at the match ahead. The net is up, the warm-up complete, the balls are new. And a big day too for the officials and the ball boys and girls as we get ready to play. Even in this historic setting, things move on and a glimpse of the future here with the advance of equipment technology. Those may not conform to regulations, something for the umpire to keep an eye on. Who also has to keep the best of order with tension running high. Come on, Tim. Even with those watching. But for everyone, it is that time of tradition, sunshine, and strawberries and cream everywhere you look, whoever you might be. And it is time for tennis. Whatever it takes, all sorts of technique on show, but from centre court to the very outside courts, the players of the highest standard, and we all know that feeling when the last ball is struck and the final call is made. Congratulations and commiserations at the net, and then off to celebrate perhaps heading to find family and share the moment with them. A nice touch, a few souvenirs offered to the crowd, and always time for that familiar ritual after becoming champion and dreaming of when we'll do it all once again.